Okay, have you guys ever wondered where your lost packages go? I'm like, where did they go? Did they just like completely vanish in thin air? No, it did not. Yeah, I bought a lot of those. I just had Jalen throw all those packages at me. It's literally the worst when you order something and then it just never comes. Like, where did you go? So I did some research and a lot of these packages end up at a mail recovery center. They hold on to them for a while, but apparently if a postal service package hasn't been claimed within 30 to 90 days, it'll likely be auctioned off or donated. I had no idea. This seems like a whole different world. I'm like, how is this legal? You know? So I spent around $350 on all of these packages. Packages. I think there's almost 20 of them. So we're gonna open these up and see if it was worth it. And as I open up these packages, we're gonna look up how much these items are. And then at the end, we'll total it all up and see if it was actually worth, you know, $350. Or it could be worth a lot more, which would be amazing. So yeah, if you guys enjoy watching this video, I'll definitely buy more unclaimed lost packages. I know some people on YouTube buy like $3,000 worth of like, Lost packages? I mean, I'm down. I'm invested. I saw this girl on TikTok do something like this. I bought 239 Amazon unclaimed undeliverable packages. Hi, and welcome to me opening your undeliverable Amazon packages. So credits to her. You opened a whole new world to me. Let me know down below if you guys want to see more. I guess let's hop into it. I'm so excited. Okay, I want to start off with this one because it looks the most damaged out of all of them. So let's open this one. Why not? We need caffeine before this. Okay. Oh, wait. We got Starbucks reusable cups. This looks like the holiday collection, but I mean, I got three Starbucks cups. Wait, this is actually awesome. Oh my God. This is actually starting off pretty good. What is going on? I'm so excited. Okay, this is cool. I'll save this for next year. Sweet. I feel like someone might've bought someone a Christmas gift and it never showed up and now I have it. I'm so sorry. This one doesn't have anything written on it. This one did, but the address is like scribbled out. I feel I feel like someone might have opened this and then repackaged it. I'm not totally sure. What? <laughs> Wait, I feel like this is so good. Guys, I'm so excited. So we got this Burt's Bee set. Okay, I'm like super content. Um, what? So in this set, we got the deep cleansing cream, deep pore scrub, hydrating overnight mask, and vanilla bean chapstick. This isn't bad. I'm shook. What? Got a screwdriver set. I mean, I feel like this is always needed, right? This is a 12-in-1 screwdriver. I mean, I'll probably end up using it. Okay, next up. Guys, I feel like all this stuff is worth more than what I spent. It's a fit tracker. Music, heart rate, sports, calls, and text. So it's pretty much like a Apple Watch. What? Oh my God. How much is this? Like, is this expensive? I need answers now. I can't find the specific one, but it seems like it's like a knockoff of the, um, like Apple Watch. Wow, that's what it looks like. I mean, go off. Pretty cool. This one's pretty big. This is an Amazon one. I wish I could see like the address. Am I creepy? I wanna know where it was supposed to go, but they like scribbled it out. This is so random. Okay, this is an advanced seven outlet power strip. I mean, cool, go off. I probably will use this. I wish it was white, but I'm sure Jalen will use this in his like man cave or something, but not mad about it. I feel like you can never have too many outlets, you know? Okay, I'm pretty sure this one's an unclaimed package. I don't know what it says. Adult could not fit anything bigger in box, sorry. I don't know. Um, okay, these two things is like a oh. toy. Can't show that, but we got some hand. Oh, those are handcuffs. I thought these were handcuffs. I'm not gonna say what they are, but I'm pretty sure they, uh, yeah. I don't wanna get demonetized. Didn't even know it was a thing, but they're um, for boys and it's a ring for something down there. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay, moving on. This one seems like it kind of went through it. Like there's a lot of like dents and stuff, but this is the Studio Selection for Men perfume and body spray. Cool. I wonder if it smells good. It doesn't smell bad, but I feel like it's not like a strong scent. It smells like they watered down a perfume. I don't know. I've never seen this though. This one is a DHL package. Oh, it says worldwide on this. Mr. Worldwide. 
Oh. Okay, we got a purse. Okay, what brand is this? Time and True. It has the price right here. It says $29.97. I kind of like this color. I don't know if I would actually wear this, so let me know if any of you guys want this. Um, but it seems like a very spacious purse. It comes with a little tote thing and a wallet. I'm so sorry if uh, you're watching this and you ordered it and now I am unpackaging it. What in the world? Okay, we got a cartoon case for your iPhone. And then we got a, I think this is an AirPod case. Oh my God, this is actually kind of cute. So this holds your AirPods. I feel like it doesn't like stick on well. These are kind of cute, but I don't think I would actually put it on my phone, but uh, not bad. What is this? Oh, I've never seen this before. This is an LED soap dispenser. I kind of want to try this. Should we try this? It has seven colors. It's motion censored, water resistant, and 30 second auto shut off. Let's try this. We only have three more packages. I wish I ordered more. This is so fun. Let's do this one. This one looks like it went through it as well. We got a fragrance collection, champagne wishes, honey and pear. We got some shower gel, body lotion, body mist, and a hair mist. I've never seen this brand. Onyx Bathhouse. Should we smell it? I feel like we need to. Definitely a lot better than the uh, men's one that we got. This one actually smells really good. Okay, second to last package. What the hell? Wait, what? This is kind of cool. We got a Brita basic faucet mount system. Easy setup, one click filter replacement. Number one, water filtration. Okay, go off. Okay, I think I low-key might use this. I feel like it'll look so clunky and big on the sink. Not bad. This is the last package. I'm sad. This was so fun. We got some masks. Uh, RX99 air filter washable mask for viruses. So we got some COVID masks. Fun. <laughs> okay, that was so fun. I'm very tempted to buy more after I finish this video because this was so fun. I want to buy like a whole big palette of lost unclaimed packages. I feel like that'd be so fun. So let me know down below if you guys want me to do another one because I'm willing to spend a lot more. So I spent $350 and this was the total of everything. I don't know what the total is right now because I'm filming, but hopefully um, it was worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Oh, my boob just show. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video.